What's going on, everybody? So today I am here to disprove a lot of your comments here. It seems like uh, I posted the previous video talking about prepping for the update, and I want to reiterate a couple things as well as uh, talk about some other things because you guys just seem to completely, completely be misinformed, not know. And then I have literally eight or nine different comments talking about complete wrong information and then trying to call me out for being wrong when, I mean, it's literally right in the game. It's, it's like the, the easiest disproof in my entire life. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about Fabled Wisps and update prep. In my last video, I talked about saving gold for the essence transfers, um, potentially upgrading for the you know, potential data mine that might be coming to the game. He's been right about everything so far. I also mentioned talking about grinding for challenge rifts and set items. Then in that, I talked about Fabled Wisps and how Hell 6 might be coming because it looks like new Paragon Trees could be coming to the game, which is very, very important. And if new Paragon Trees come to the game, level cap increases, which means that, well, we're going to need Hell 6, most likely, right? Because our... Um, Hell 5 only goes up to level 600. So it's reasonable to assume that Hell 6 would be coming with additional Paragon Trees. It looks like the new Paragon level will be about 900. Again, I will leave the Twitter of Datamite ARPG in the description down below if you guys want to check out what I'm talking about and all this information that I'm talking about. But within this, I talked about grinding set items for Hell 5 to prep for the update and presumably Hell 6. And just to give you an idea here, I'm going to hop over to my other video. You can see this video was the Save Your Gold. Got an ad on my video. <laughs> Save Your Gold, new content coming, right? This guy said, no point on saving Hell 5 Wisp because Hell 6 difficulty shows up. I responded, you can craft them up to a 5 to 1 ratio. Um, and then this guy said, no, you can only trade Hell 6 Wisp times 5 for a Hell 6 piece. Ha ha, it's called Wisp 5, 5 for some reason. Hell 6, you only need Wisp 6. And you can't even trade 5 Wisp 4 to Wisp 5. This is just completely wrong. I responded, you guys are incredibly misinformed uh, because this is literally across the whole video. Um, like right here, saving wisp won't help because they only create gear in the hell uh, level they are made from. Uh, and then we continue on. Hell 5 wisp, we're gonna give you hell 5 sets. Uh, the reason I said unsubscribe is inaccurate data wisp for locked to hell level. If I save them in hell 5, then you'll be able to level craft hell 5 greens only. Upgrading Legos, not priority because, uh, and it continues on. Um, do your homework before confusing people. Guys, this is literally a five hour old video as of recording this. And I have this many comments talking about complete wrong information. Hopping back over to Diablo Immortal. Look at this, guys. You ready for this? You ready for this? We have set crafting, okay? We have the different Hell 5, Hell 4 Wisps. Oh, but guess what's right next to it? Guess what? Fabled Wisps tab right here. Oh, look at that. You can trade them up. You can trade them up with the lower level Wisps into higher level Wisps. No way, guys. It's crazy. It's almost like I knew this was in the game and you guys all didn't know and you're commenting on my video and, uh, and you're giving me a free video to make because clearly about 90% of you don't know that this exists. It's actually hilarious. I was actually laughing my butt off reading your comments because I literally just responded to every single one of them saying the same thing. You can craft them up, you can craft them up. And then people responded by comments saying, oh, you're just lying. It's like people are so ingrained into what they want to think that they don't even listen listen to people who are actually just playing the game. I don't know. Pretty funny though. Um, so the idea here, guys, is if you grind some Hell 5 Wisps, assuming when Hell 6 comes, they're going to add Hell 6 set items, and then you're gonna be able to craft up Hell 5 into Hell 6. Granted, this is a speculation point. We don't know if they're gonna add the same feature as in every other Hell difficulty, but it's reasonable to assume that they will add the set transfers for Wisps from Hell 5 to Hell 6. So all of you guys that said that, you are just Either you didn't know, or people were telling you wrong, or you just didn't even know that this existed. Um, but uh, for those of you that actually responded saying that I am misinforming or lying, well, I mean, pfft. there you go, guys. <laughs> it's the same thing that happened with the uh, Battleground saying that the legendary gem and, and or uh, affixes is reduced by 66%. Um, it's the same thing. It literally says it in the game. It's in the game. Um, so, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's about Fabled Wisps. But uh, I have a couple other things to talk about here. Uh, because we also have, let me see here if I tab back over, a couple more comments I wanted to respond to, uh, just, just for fun here, because I'm already talking about, it. and then also a few other things. Um, talk about scrap and dust here. This is something that I see a lot of people say they farm four to five hours and they have a ton of scrap and dust. Um, and then some people say that it's hard to get to the challenge rifts and max challenge rift and gear, green gear, which of course would be, um, you know, 
level 10 secondary stats, getting a bunch of enigmatic crystals, dust, um, and, and stuff like that. So um, that's incredibly, incredibly important. And along that note, you can see um, down here, you have resource issues because you don't use Treasure Hunter. So I would absolutely recommend everyone use Treasure Hunter for sure. And that goes along with getting scrap and dust and maxing off your set pieces. You can see here, literally four months ago, I posted a video, stop this nonsense, Treasure Hunter is amazing. Looks like everyone is coming around to me now, even though I said this literally four months ago. Um, so, you know, another uh, comment disprove. It's like, I'm literally sitting here and, and uh, I don't know what happened, uh, but my whole audience just thinks I'm uh, uh, just uh, lying. I guess I am at this point, you know, it is what it is, but <laughs> it, it gives me some free videos to talk about. Use Treasure Hunter to go ahead and get your dust, guys. This is gonna be a massive increase, mainly because you're going to increase equipment drop rate from elite monsters. Then on top of that, we're going to increase that even further to 75%. This is going to massively increase the amount of dust you acquire. So very, very increased gain for resources there. The best way to go ahead and acquire resources, I actually did a whole video on this, but to give you guys a TLDR here for getting dust, uh, for getting uh, glowing shards, that type of stuff. So for glowing shards, you're just going to want to find the area with the highest amount of um Legendary drop rate, which is going to be Realm of Damnation. It's going to be the Plains of Torment or the Hall of Punishment, kind of really long farm. Both of these are going to be very, very good, about 120k experience per minute. And if you're grinding at 90% magic find, about six to seven legendary items per hour. If you are free to play and you have that 15%, 25% magic find, it'll probably be giving you about three to four legendary items per hour, which is a nice source of upgrades. And of course, you're going to need a lot of them now because you have to use them for set crafting. Now for dust and for scrap and that type of stuff, um, you're gonna wanna head over to the library of Zoltan Cool. And the reason for this is there's actually a couple events in here that's going to put you, get you in a portal that will send you to unique events that drop you know, anywhere from eight to 12 dust per event. Now there is a cap to this. Um, you can only do it, I think it's about, on average about 14 times per day because there's certain areas, there's several different types of areas and you can only do each area five times. And so uh, the like math to it is, okay, well at about 13 times, you're going to start repeating the same ones that you've done, which give you absolutely no resources. Not only that, but there's also a lot of areas in here like this stationary farm right here in this room that has a couple of quest monsters that will drop a bunch of dust. So any area that has a lot of quest monsters or specifically in the library, that's gonna give you a bunch of events that give you a bunch more dust is going to be the best way to upgrade your gear that way. So that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about for prepping for the next update. Guys, farm your set items, craft them up into the next tier of hell wisps. I, I really just don't understand. I, I, it wasn't necessarily in the update, I don't think, so I don't blame a ton of you, um, except for the ones that are uh, just, you know, trying to call me out when they're just completely misinformed here. But guys, it's in the game. So check out the smithing materials. That's where the Fable Wisps are. Also, one other thing here, there's a lot of people joining the servers. There's a lot of people asking. I've had a, like three or four people message me on Discord say, hey, what's up with your server? I'm considering transferring, but I'm not convinced. So I wanted to just set, let this out for anyone that's watched this point. You guys probably are uh, some of the more dedicated viewers. So I appreciate you all uh, reaching to the end of the video. And I want to mention, we are just about to kind of head out of our immortal reign. We just merged server merge last week, which means there's going to be a ton of clans here with a lot of 5k resonance players. I personally am not a 5k resonance player. I'm a pretty small fry in this server. There's a lot of people with 5k plus resonance. So uh, what we're doing with the clan here is obviously we show up to the events as much best as we can. And in Aftershock, we were tryharding for a while there uh, at the beginning of the server launch. We are still playing the game regularly and we still have a lot of active members. And that's pretty much what we're looking for is a lot of people that just play the game. So if you're interested in that, you want to join the clan, um, you want to come and, and hang out with me, with Darth, because uh, we do have Darth in the clan also chosen um, a couple other people like we got dm in here so if you guys watch dm's content as well he and i oftentimes uh you know are in the same ship farm groups running dungeons or whatever uh we oftentimes do a lot of that same time so if you guys want to join the clan and hang out with darth and i um we really love seeing you all guys you guys all in game saying hey what's up like i watch your content it's actually it means a lot to us um especially to me at least i don't i can't speak for darth but i know that uh, those type of comments mean a thousand rude or, or misinforming comments um you know that it, it really does mean a lot so i appreciate all of you and if you guys want to join the clan, we have a lot of spots available um, for people who are kind of inactive during the Immortal Reign. You know, that's kind of what happens. You play an Immortal Reign and then people go inactive after a couple of weeks. So we have some spots opening up if you want to join and hang out with us. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel. Craft your set items. Don't forget about it. And let everyone know that doesn't know that because clearly 90% of people don't know that. 
go ahead and let them know that you can craft your set items and I'll see you tomorrow.